about how you guys got involved in this project and mm -hmm. what kind of made you want to be part of it? Well, um, I'll go first because I had the great fortune of being approached for a job interview when this had already been greenlit to pilot. It had been like written and uh, authorized to like get shot and they were like, we need somebody to come in and be the showrunner, which is sort of like, you know, the battlefield general when somebody else is saying, take that hill, you know, and, and I'm not there. Kind of like, okay, we don't have money for that hill. What about slightly lower on the hill? So, <laughs> I, um, I interviewed for the job and instantly I was like, oh my God, Nancy Drew. I love Nancy Drew. I read it when I was a kid and I love this script they did such a good job it was unexpectedly modern and relatable and kind of relevant you know so that's how I got involved and so Noga has been involved longer <laughs> but I just have to say it was the greatest job interview ever <laughs> Melinda basically came in and did this TED talk about like <laughs> managing people and believing in your staff and just like it was amazing anyway we're very glad we're very happy um, but I I had always wanted to make a Nancy Drew television show and I couldn't I grew up reading the books and I couldn't believe when I found out over a year ago that the rights were available and that we could do it and so I partnered with Fake Empire which is Josh and Steph's company um, and and we developed the show we pitched it to the CW and it landed at the perfect network um, and and it that took it from there <laughs> Like all CW shows, they seem to shoot in Vancouver, British Columbia. Yes. yes. Um, how do you feel about that shooting there, and do you think it's fitting for the Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. 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 Oh. It's perfect. We love Vancouver. The crew is yeah. great. It's yeah. in the same time zone. It's a short flight from L.A. All these things are great. But it also happens to be, you know, set in Maine. And I grew yeah. up in Maine, so it's, like, deeply satisfying to have something that yeah. puts Maine in a good light and looks like Maine and small town like Maine and just kind of the nature and the wildness and the fog mm -hmm. and the ocean. Creepy, just, but, like, the creepy, like, coastal really town good. of it yeah, yeah. we, we shoot in well. Horseshoe Bay yeah. which is a town outside of Vancouver but we've actually just named our town our fictional town in Maine Horseshoe Bay because we love Horseshoe Bay so much but it's based on Southwest Harbor <laughs> if anybody's curious yeah it's basically cool. south, a mix of Southwest Harbor and Bar Harbor and a little bit of, a bit of Northeast Harbor thrown in yeah not Desert Island yeah, yeah. and uh, oh sorry is it okay speaking of creepy mm -hmm. <laughs> what can you say about the ghosts in the show so you know, if you go back and read all the original Nancy Drew books, there's always kind of this hint of the supernatural. It's like a voice that Nancy hears in the walls, or it's, you know, a scary face she sees in the window. But it always turns out to just be like a guy with a mask, and it's just never actually a ghost. And so I thought, okay, let's just do ghosts. And what does Nancy Drew meeting ghosts look like? Cool. <laughs> that was my question. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, we love all of yeah. that kind of thing. I'm, I just, I'm so happy that we can connect not just our main ghost, who is the season arc mystery, but also like other ghosts may arise yes. who have relationships to each other and have like kind of continuing arcs going forward. Yeah, it, it's definitely a world in which the supernatural does exist, and there's always a reason for it tied to the world of the living. There's always a mystery or something that is unresolved that Nancy has to dive into. And I mean, in the first episode, you guys have like the quirk wall of all the old stories, and they're all books, former books of Nancy Drew's. Um, will there be other kind of Easter eggs or storylines pulled from the book moving forward? There will be Easter eggs. Right. Um, you know, we have we have an episode called The Hidden Staircase, yeah. but it's not actually the hidden staircase that we know from the book. Right. There's no, you know, kind of real estate plot to scam two old ladies out of their property by pretending to be a voice in the walls. But yes, we're not actually going to put that on the right. CW. <laughs> but there is a realtor. There is a woman, or there's a character named Rose Turnbull. There yep. is a secret passage. There is a hidden staircase. You'll see Nancy go up with her flashlight. I mean, it, there are like a lot of shout outs, but it's become something completely different with that, you know, bit of DNA in it. I have a question. Um, I asked another actor, but yeah. what would you say is the main difference with this series uh, compared to other iterations of Nancy Drew right. seen in TV yeah. and movies? I do think the main difference is the existence of the supernatural. Um, but I think also it's that we are putting a Nancy Drew on screen who's really been through some trauma in her life and she has a complicated backstory which actually becomes a bit of her superpower because it's what's happened to her that allows her to be emotionally intelligent and really draw people in and use her wits to get what she needs. Um, can you talk a little bit since you, you were a Nancy Drew fan? Yeah. Um, what elements of the books and Nancy Drew in the books were important to have in the series and are there some things that you, that you mm -hmm. like maybe 
always right. wanted to see that you were putting in the series. Right. You want to start with Yeah, I mean, one thing is that it's very diverse. We're really proud of that. Our cast, our crew, our writer's room, our post-production staff, the producer staff, very, very diverse group of people, which makes it better, you know, because everybody's got different kind of points of view and different life experiences, and they're just able to speak to like, well, that's not how it's, that's not how it goes for somebody like me, you know, right. and they can really say that with truth. But we also did a lot of research for different character backstories, like Nick, who you saw in the pilot, he's got a conviction for manslaughter. We interviewed um, at length a guy who we then hired as an intern, because we loved him so much, who had been convicted of manslaughter as a teen, as self-defense, and he went through all these things in prison, and, he, and the details and the authenticity, I mean, never in a million years, but I thought that, oh, when you roll up your little sticker, I mean, your tiny letter to pass to somebody else, they don't let you have tape or glue. So they would use the peels off of fruit, like an apple has a little sticker on it, and that's what they use for tape. They just save up those little peels, you know, and, and so he made me one, and it's like a little scroll with a tiny little... So that kind of thing, you know, I think really enriches our world. But I also feel like there are things that we added on an emotional level between the characters. They've all got problems. They've all got like messed up issues in their past and they've got to work through them together. But that kind of makes them bond because they're broken, which I love. And also Nancy and her dad have a much more fraught and kind of oh fractured relationship. Yeah. I'm, I really gravitate to. Yeah. <laughs> Last question. Yeah. Um, and I mean, the overall mystery right now is both Tiffany and Lucy's letters. Yes. Yeah. Um, will both of those be wrapped up throughout the season or is mm -hmm. Lucy's going to kind of extend further? <laughs> so the, the first season is very much about Tiffany and Lucy and, and why their two murders are important and how they intersect. Um, but as far as that continuing, probably not. Um, because I, we believe that every season should have its own sort of new mystery mm -hmm. that really characterizes that season of TV. Yeah. So we'll have an answer for both of those yeah. mysteries. Yeah. That'd be funny if we just never, never solved it. It just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> episodes. We will think Nancy couldn't solve it. <laughs> <laughs> we will definitively answer why they yeah. ended up dead, who did it, and what their yes. reasons were. Yeah. That's awesome.